speaks to our imaginations. And I think that's its great power and its great strength. Can you separate the art from the artist? Of course, all the time. We do it all the time. And why is that? Because the art, the art is a is something that's there to, you know, to interact with, to have a relationship with. The artist who created that art is one other flawed, you know, limited human being, just like everybody else. And so you don't have to know or love Bob Dylan to find some of his music, not only making suggestions, but unleashing your imagination, um, inviting you to a larger world. You don't have to know a thing about Bob Dylan or care about him to be moved by his art. And, and that's true whether you're talking about Picasso or, or uh, Gwendolyn Brooks or Alice Walker. It doesn't matter. These are artists who give you something into the world that provokes you. And yeah, I think Brecht's right. I think he, it makes a suggestion. And again, Brecht has created some poetry and some theater that's highly moving to me, but it has absolutely uh, no relation in my mind to Brecht himself. I don't have to know his biography or to like him as a human being, or to, in some ways, idealize him as somehow perfect, to find um, a poem like a worker reads history, moving, informative, suggestive, imaginative, wonderful. I think about right now, um, uh, you know, I put out a lot of ugly stuff, and it's usually, most all of it's been the exact opposite of what my politics are, my heart is, it's more of a reflection of what I see, or whatever you're, you know, however people are going to take it. And, and recently, you know, I've been painted into some corners with this stuff, and I I, re I I see the Kanye thing breaking loose, and I, you know, I I gotta say I enjoy the I enjoy the I I enjoy it from a idea that it's it's creating this conversation, but I also enjoy it when artists bubble up to the mainstream, 